Hello, this is Kendra Von Esch of Shalom World, bringing you the news from around the globe. Guadalupe Ortiz de Landazuri, the first woman member of Opus Dei, has been beatified in Madrid. The delegate of the Holy Father for the beatification mass was Cardinal Giovanni Angelo Bertu, the prefect of the Congregation for the Causes of Saints. Approximately 11,000 people participated in the beatification mass. In a letter to Monsignor Fernando Oqueres, prelate of Opus Dei, Pope Francis expressed his desire to join in the joy and thanksgiving for the beatification of Guadalupe Ortiz de Landazuri. I wish to unite myself to your joy and thanksgiving for this witness of holiness, which she lived out in the ordinary circumstances of her Christian life, the Holy Father wrote in the letter. Ortiz was born in Madrid in the year 1916. She met St. Jose Maria Escrivá, the founder of Opus Dei, in 1944. That meeting changed her life, and soon after that, she joined Opus Dei and led a life of holiness and virtue. Democratic Louisiana Governor John Bell Edwards signals his support for a pro-life heartbeat legislation, which would ban abortions after the unborn baby's heartbeat is detected. His decision to sign the pro-life law is creating quite a rift in the Democratic Party. John Edwards' courageous decision is based in large part on his own experience. Nearly three decades ago, he and his wife decided to have his daughter, diagnosed as a baby with spina bifida, against the doctor's advice to abort. Now their daughter is leading a healthy life, in May 2018, Edwards signed a bill into law banning abortion after 15 weeks of pregnancy. It is also noteworthy that John Bell Edwards is a Catholic. He once said that his Catholic faith has some influence on his policy decisions and viewpoints. The Detroit Archdiocese of the U.S. has decided to make Sunday observance more effective in prayer and rest. The Catholic Churches of Detroit decided to devote the entire Sunday for prayer, worship, and family. Archbishop Alan H. Vergeron issued a pastoral note emphasizing the importance of the Lord's Day and has directed the diocese to cancel all sports activities on Sunday. Meanwhile, training institutes of the Catholic High School League and Catholic Youth Organization of the Archdiocese have already been informed that training programs for the students must be scheduled from Monday through Saturday. These organizations said the students will be trained without losing their Sunday observance. The Archdiocese of Detroit is aiming to bring back the fruitful observance of Sunday. Non per scontrarsi per dialogare, non per monologare. On Saturday, Pope Francis addressed the members of the Foreign Press Association of Italy, and he told the journalists to uphold the integrity of their profession with humility. Humility is an essential virtue for spiritual life, but I would say that it can also be a fundamental element of your job, said the Holy Father. He also warned against using violent and derogatory language in journalism, especially on social media. The Holy Father encouraged the journalists to offer a good breadth of truth to the world. Thanks for watching and for your support. Stay in touch on social media, our app, and online at shalomworld.org. May you walk in the light of the Lord, and may peace be with you always. Thank you.